Well now for some remarkable Australian landscapes. Rarely seen by man, they're in remote and inaccessible destinations and the photographer has had to use a helicopter to photograph them. Welcome to the works of Richard Green. The forests of eucalyptus trees that stretch towards the coast from Terry Hills in northern Sydney border Richard Green's house. He's an accomplished photographer who's built up a portfolio of spectacular landscape shots, captured during expeditions around Australia in his helicopter, which allows him to access remote areas where he can continue his search for the ultimate landscape. Many of his landscapes have never been photographed before and Richard enhances these by having them enlarged. Richard has displayed these in a series of exhibitions around Australia and has now published them in a new book, Remote and Wild. Richard, pretty damn impressive. Where was this? Well, this is in the Gulf Country in uh, Northern Territory. How did you find this place? Oh, you find it by, by looking. Flying around? Flying around, keeping your eyes open. There are many of these lost cities in the Northern Territory. So very few people would have seen this? Very few people, yes. There, there, are, there are one or two that are on the, uh, the known track. So you've been flying around, you've seen this from the air, you've, you've touched down, you pull out your camera and you've created oh, yeah, this masterpiece. Snap, yeah. like it's not like that, is it? It's quite, quite an art to make a, make a photograph this impressive. Well, it takes a little bit of practice, but um, I'm reasonably pleased with the result. So you, in fact, will use your Canon EOS camera to take, what, 10 separate images to create this That's long right. masterpiece? That's so right. This would be one picture, there's another one, there's another one, and they're all joined together on computer. So you've landed here, you say that very few other people would have seen this simply because there'd be no access. You've got the beauty of a helicopter to get here. Mm, yeah, I'm sport. <laughs> Let's talk about some of your images. We're looking in the corner here at this incredible spire. Now this is uh, hard to believe that such a rock formation can exist because it's quite large. Yes, well don't ask me how it was created. I can only assume it must be some form of water erosion. But, uh, and it's between the... Um, uh, levels of rock that, that have done this millions of years ago and the edge gets eroded and you get an edge like that. Richard, tell us about this one, the tent pole? Tent pole, yes, well that's a favourite place of ours. I found it about 17 years ago, I was flying over and saw this fantastic spot with the orange pillars and the water running through. Spent the night there, packed up my tent, forgot the tent pole. The next night I discovered no tent pole. So we've been going back to that place many, many times since we've always caught tent pole. And do you know? that only a year ago I found that tent pole. The end of it had been burned by a bushfire, but still there. This one, the pillar? Pillar, oh, that's a fantastic piece of sandstone sculpture. It just goes up like a huge matchstick. And uh, you can see uh, in the picture that uh, Carol's standing at the bottom of it, and she's only about that high compared with this huge pillar. Don't ask me how it was created. It's like a centre point tower. It's, it's almost as big as a centre point tower. Now I like this one too. This is called uh, this is a King Billy Pine back down in Tasmania, isn't it? Yeah, that's in southwest Tasmania, in a very damp uh, area where there are uh, thick, there's thick undergrowth and this beautiful King Billy Pine was covered with green moss. And I was cl I climbed in really close to it. It's a wide, wide photograph. And this tree, this this dead tree, looks quite ethereal. This is down in the uh, Stony Desert. Oh, this well, it's a group of dead trees, and it's. At, uh, in the Sturt Stony Desert, it's at Coongee Lake, and we'd stopped there to camp the night to go bird watching. And I didn't really think it'd be a particularly uh, good photographic area, but when I saw these trees, I thought, wow. And this picture was actually taken just before the sun came up, dawn, and the sky really was that fantastic pink colour. Now, Richard, out there, it's a creative double team because your wife Carol is actually making these beautiful line drawings of the, the same sort of stuff that you're photographing. Oh yes, she's the artist, I'm just the, I'm just the bum photographer. And she's producing these uh, drawings, which I think are really nice uh, a vignette of what we're doing. Wonderful colours and quite humorous too, creative and humorous. Yeah, well I think so too, yes. But here's something interesting Carol's done, the, the tent surrounded by cane toads. Oh yes, well that's Carol using her imagination it, and it was drawn the day after We'd woken up in the morning and I'd got my boots to, and found like, this huge cane toad sitting in my boot. And here is Richard's flying tripod, a twin turbine Eads Eurocopter, favoured by European law enforcement and medical rescue teams. 
For Richard Green, a former physicist, it's his favourite transport into the Never Never. With the helicopter, you're able to find some amazing places most people couldn't. Yeah, well, Australia's got a lot of fantastic outback, back, absolutely fabulous. And the helicopters are four-wheel drive. It's the most uh, fabulous four-wheel drive you can imagine. So you, you find your scenic wonder, you settle down, you camp, you and Carol get out and, and do your thing. Yeah, it's great. There's, um, we try not to stay in uh, accommodation in hotels or motels. In fact, we go to, from place to place to refuel, but then I look for somewhere that's out back to, to land and camp. You're getting out there and discovering parts of Australia that most Australians wouldn't get to see. What sort of a country have we got out there? What are you seeing with your camera? We have the most fabulous country out there. You just wouldn't know how beautiful it is. I'm trying to bring back some of this beauty to share it with others.